we are back at the house today. I am over here today trying to get my paint color figured out. I came over yesterday and I put some samples of some white shades on the walls. And it was kind of like gloomy weather. It was really rainy and so not a lot of natural light and I just couldn't get a good feel of what the colors truly were gonna look like. But today it's beautiful sunshine. We have lots of natural light coming in. So I'm back over here to take a look at those. And I also have a couple more samples that I picked up this morning from Lowe's. This picking a white paint is really overwhelming because there's so many shades of white and all of the videos that I'm watching on YouTube there's a lot that goes into picking a white color because it really matters how your house faces if it faces north east south or west because that will determine how the light is shining in on your walls and how it's going to look in your house so it really doesn't matter how it looks in somebody else's house so you can't really go off of that you kind of just have to play with it yourself and figure out what looks the best in your house so i went around last night and i put a few samples on one two three four different room walls just so I could get an idea of what they would look like in each room because light shines in differently in those rooms. So these are all Sherwin-Williams white shades. The top one is pure white. The middle is alabaster. That's a really popular one. And then the bottom one is Snowbound. So I think, because I need a shade for the trim as well, and I want it to stand out, I want it to be brighter than the shade that I have on the walls. So I'm going with pure white for the trim. As of right now, that's gonna be the trim color. And I've got two other samples I wanna try out still, but out of these two that's left for the walls, I'm thinking, alabaster because my floors are going to be a light oak color and I really need a white that's going to complement that floor color. I don't know y'all I've just been so overwhelmed. Uh, when I was in Lowe's this morning I had so many samples in front of me just trying to narrow down what would look the best with the oak floors and my eyes <laughs> felt like they were starting to cross because it's just so overwhelming. After a while they kind of all start looking the same. So these are the three shades in the dining room and then in the kitchen I also did the three samples up next to the cabinet so I could see what it would look like up next to the cabinets and so far I'm thinking alabaster. Yeah and then I also did here in the den. All right, so let me show y'all the other samples I got this morning. This one is called Iconic White, and then this one is called Pearly White. So I think what I'm gonna do so that I can get a better idea, because I'm trying to decide this today so I can start painting tomorrow. The kids are going this week with their dad, and this will give me a lot of time to get this stuff done. So I really wanna decide today, but I think what I'm gonna do is take that pure white color that I want for the trim, put some on the trim, do a spot for each sample up next to that trim, and that way I can get a better idea of what it's gonna look like next to each other. down there but I did two coats each this is the alabaster iconic white and pearly white I had to come back and label them because I was forgetting which one was which but to me alabaster and pearly white are very very similar they're even on the same color card so you can see they are very 
very similar colors. I canceled out the iconic white. I think it matches the baseboards too much and I want the walls to stand out. So I think I'm gonna sleep on it and then I'll come back tomorrow and hopefully I will have a decision made, but at least got the baseboards picked out. So that paint color is done. I've just gotta decide what I want for the wall. I don't know, I don't know. I've just gotta think about it and uh, obviously you guys will know what I pick when I pick the camera back up tomorrow. Okay, so it is painting day after I had some time to think about the color that I wanted to go with and also I did a poll on Instagram and that was really what helped me decide. The majority of you voted alabaster so that's the color that I'm going with. So right now I'm doing some prep work before I get started on the paint. I'm going to remove all of the screws from the walls, also the outlet covers. And then I'm gonna go in with some joint compound and fill in all of those little holes. Really quick for those of you who are new here, I'm getting ready to move into this home, but before I move in, I want to paint and get the floors installed and just give the home a refresh before I start moving things in. It's gonna be a couple of months before the flooring can be installed. So I'm trying to get all of my painting done before they put the new floor in. By the way, make sure that you stay tuned until the end of the video because I am gonna share a sneak peek of the floor that I have picked out. So we had a pretty big hole here in the hallway. I'm filling that with joint compound and I had to use quite a bit. So I'm gonna let that dry for several days. And then I'm using some caulk to go in between the crown molding and the ceiling just to fill in those little gaps. And there are some places in the home you'll see in the living room where the crown molding is pulling away from the wall. And I've got to take my nail gun to that, but someone was borrowing my battery for it. so. I'm just waiting on my battery. So once I have my nail gun, I can go through and tack all of those back up. But this really made a big difference. I think filling in those gaps between the crown molding and the ceiling, it just made it all look seamless. So what my plan of action here is, I'm taking a microfiber cloth and knocking down all of that dust, just giving those a quick wipe and also the walls around the window. There was a little bit of mildew, so I'm just wiping that off before I apply paint. But what I'm gonna do, and this helps me to avoid painter's tape, I'm first gonna paint the trim with my pure white and thankfully it only took one coat, so that went really fast. And then I went back with my alabaster onto the walls and I just very carefully painted that right up next to the trim without getting it on the trim. And that just helped me to avoid painter's tape. It would have been a lot harder had I reversed and done the walls first and then tried to go back and do the trim. And this way too, it was really easy painting the trim because I didn't have to worry about getting paint on the walls because I was just going to be painting over those anyways. Also a pro to using two different shades of white that are pretty close is that it's okay if you have minor mess ups on the walls or the trim. Say you get a little bit of the wall paint onto the trim, you really honestly can't tell. So that was one of the pros of having both the walls and the trim white. Something else I wanted to address in this video and talk about since I didn't really talk about it in my home tour it just wasn't on my mind at the moment but a lot of you were asking me about moving this home onto the property that I bought because it is a mobile home right now my plan is to just get the home to where we can live in it and I probably will eventually move the home over onto my property but right now that's not my priority I am still right next to my mom and my property is very very close it's actually Actually in my backyard and like I said eventually I will move the home but right now it's not priority because I am still next to my mom so the kids are still able to go over and visit anytime they want and vice versa a lot of you were asking what's gonna happen with my property so I completely get it because in my original plan when I bought that property my plan was to buy a mobile home and move it onto the property but then my ex-husband asked me if I wanted this house back. My kids love this house. This is their home where they were babies or Kane was. Kai was about five, four or five when we got this home. 
And so both of them are really attached to it. But my ex-husband was going to sell this house if I didn't want it. But after talking with the kids, I made the decision just to wait. He was going to have to find somewhere to move. And so we agreed that I would just wait until he could find somewhere to move and then I would take the house back over. So that's what's going on. And if you follow me on Instagram, then you already know this, but my ex-husband has been sick. And before I go any further, he did give me permission to share this. So I would not talk about this on my channel without his permission. Back in May of this year, he was diagnosed with leukemia. It was a really hard pill for us all to swallow. It was a shock. We were not expecting that at all. And so um, he's been in the hospital a lot, but he is in remission now and leukemia free. So that's great. Um, the next step, he will be doing a bone marrow transplant. So hopefully that will happen within the next year. But I just wanted to let you guys know that and just ask for you to be praying for him um, that he will continue to beat this leukemia. And I just want to thank the ones who have already been praying for him. I know a lot of you on Instagram have been praying, a lot of you from different countries. So thank you. All right, so we got a lot done yesterday. We got the dining room and also that room, it's almost done. I still need to do a little bit of work up next to the trim, finish up touching up paint there. And I still need to take my nail gun and tack up the places of the molding there at the top. So I think what I'm gonna do today, I'm gonna take a break from painting. We did so much painting yesterday that I'm just kind of burnt out on that right now. So I'm gonna take a break from that and I'm gonna try to work on taking more contact paper off of the counters. I brought my hair dryer with me. Carrie Lynn was telling me that if I use heat, it'll help the contact paper to come up. So we're gonna try that and hopefully it works. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And I might try a little bit later today to hit up the Dollar General and get some totes for these toys. While the boys are not here, I'm going to go through these toys. We'll get rid of what I think they're not going to play with, what's broken. My kids will hold on to anything, so it's better for me to go through them. So I'm going to try to do that while they're not here, and I'll get some totes from the Dollar General to store those in just so they're up off the floor. So just a second, I do want to talk about the paint and all of that. So I honestly, I can't tell if I like it yet. I went with alabaster for the walls and then for the trim i went with pure white i wanted the walls to stand out from the trim and according to how the light hits it it does stand out but not always so i don't know maybe i'll like it better once i have furniture in here and some contrast going on i plan to bring in browns and greens so i hope once i do that i'm gonna like it and i think too once i have the floor done it's gonna look a lot better so um, but that's kind of how I'm feeling about it right now I just can't decide if I like it but I will say I'm liking how fresh and clean everything is looking another thing I can do today is go back and put on the outlet covers I don't like those being off for too long especially with the kids coming in and out of the house so I'll try to go ahead and get those put back on today leave a comment down below if you remember when I did these countertops if you remember that you are an OG because it was one of the very first videos that I did on my channel and I loved it for a while but yeah contact paper on kitchen counters is just not a good idea they tear and they also stain really easily so I had tried pulling some up the other day and it was really really hard to get up and so I mentioned that in the home tour and my friend Carrie Lynn, I'm sure most of you know who she is, but she gave me the tip on using heat. And so I brought my blow dryer over and it worked like a charm. It was still coming off in small pieces, but it was a lot easier to pull. It wasn't near as tough and it did leave a little tiny bit of sticky residue but I plan to paint these counters anyways and so I can easily sand that off or I can pick up some goo gone and spray them down and I think it'll come off pretty easy but I am going to be painting these counters with acrylic paints if you've watched any of my other DIY videos I painted the countertops that are in my mom's house 
with acrylic paints. And it's a really affordable way to upgrade your counters without breaking the bank. And I do not like these maroon countertops, so I'll definitely be doing that very soon. Probably when I get done painting the walls here in the kitchen, I'll go ahead and do that. I wanted to film every bit of taking this off because it was so satisfying. It was satisfying for me to pull it off, but I knew also for you guys, it would be satisfying to see as well. So I'm just taking some spray cleaner. This is Lysol, I think, and I'm just saturating these countertops and trying to get most of the residue off. I wasn't able to get all of it, but like I said, I can easily sand that off or just pick up some Goo Gone. So this is gonna be my content for the next few months mixed in with some mom life because I still have to be a mom. And even after we move in, I'll, you know, have all of my decorating content. That's something I cannot wait for is to be able to decorate and bring it all together. So thank you to those who gave me suggestions on appliances. We will definitely be steering clear of Samsung and LG. A lot of you were saying that those two brands are no good. So I will not be doing Samsung or LG. Right now I'm leaning towards Frigidaire or Whirlpool, maybe a mix of both because I've got to get a dishwasher, a stove, and a refrigerator. So I'm hoping I can find a good deal on some appliances. So I've just kind of been shopping around here and there, and I'm hoping sooner than later I will find a good deal on those. But I also don't know if I should wait until after the floors are installed before I bring in appliances because they'll have to work around them. And I also have to get new toilets. That's something else I don't know if I should do before or after new flooring. So if you guys know what I should do, let me know down below. I also just want to say, and I mentioned this in my home tour as well, but it just feels so crazy to be back in this house filming videos. It's been four going on five years since I have filmed in this house. So it felt so crazy setting up my camera and filming again. But it also is really exciting because this is where my YouTube channel started. This is where I started making videos and where my channel started to grow. And it has grown a lot more since I've been at my mom's house. So I'm really excited to be back and filming videos in this house again. And I know a lot of you are just as excited as I am. I've had a lot of fun reading all of your comments. on to these outlet covers I'm gonna get those put back on and y'all I'm loving this color looking at it on camera as I'm editing this video I'm really really liking this a lot it looks very fresh and clean I can also tell the difference between the walls and the trim so I'm really loving it but I am just finishing up some of the touch-ups here in the living room and then the paint will also be done in this room so I'm gonna finish that up and put all the outlet covers back on in here and just do a quick little tidy up we had everything a mess so I just want to get all of that straightened back up because if it gets very messy in here I won't be able to function so I'm trying to keep everything nice and neat as we work because we have a lot left to do in this house and I do plan to organize all of these videos that I film during this process into a playlist for y'all so all the videos will be in one place but I'm thinking the next room I'm gonna do is the master bedroom I have decided to paint that as well I know I talked about in the tour I wasn't sure if I wanted to keep the color that was in there 
or paint it white and I've decided to go ahead and paint it white so I think that'll be the next room that we work in and I did get some tape stuck to my shorts so that's what that is when I had sat on the carpet to finish up the bottom of the wall I apparently sat in painters tape so <laughs> anyways I'm gonna finish this up and then we are gonna get started on the toys y'all these toys I can pretty much look at something and know what's important to them so I'm gonna keep that but I really don't want to move in here and be bombarded with toys already so I'm trying to keep it to a minimum I'm getting rid of all of the broken toys all of those little junky toys or toys that just are missing parts I'm throwing those into one pile I'm gonna trash those and I did go up to the Dollar General and look for some totes but I decided not to get totes because I really don't want to keep that many toys anyways and so I just picked up that gray basket that you see there and that was able to hold a pretty good a bit of their toys and then we already had the blue container so I just took those to their room and the rest of this going in the trash like I said it's a lot of broken things it's not anything that can be donated so I'm just throwing all of that in the trash and I'm even thinking about the toys that they do have left they're also going to be bringing toys from my mom's house they've collected toys over there too so when we bring those over we're gonna have a lot of toys. And so I'm thinking I want to do toy rotation. So that'll be something that I'll do, you know, when we get moved in. But really quick, I wanted to show y'all a sneak peek of the floor that I picked out. So right now I'm in the floor store and I'm just looking at all of the samples they have out. I knew about what I wanted. And so that's really what I was looking for. I want a light oak color a floor but I also want it to have just a teeny bit of a gray undertone I don't want anything too yellow I also want something that's gonna be waterproof and you can see on the floor they had samples laid out I think it was about four or five different sections and it was actually one of those that I ended up loving it's this one here on the far end that's the one that I have chose for now <laughs> so I don't expect to be changing my mind but honestly who knows so that's what I've chose for now but thank you guys for watching today's video and hanging out with me I'm really excited to be sharing these videos with y'all so make sure to come back for the rest of the content I'm gonna have probably a new video every week on this so so come back next week and I'll have some more updates for you. Don't forget to leave your butterfly emoji down in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.